Hey guys, welcome to today's Vehicle Visionary. Today I've borrowed this 2022 Honda Insight EX from my friends at Holmes Honda in Shreveport, Louisiana. Of course, this is part of the third generation of the Insight. And new for 2022, you can expect on the EX and Touring trim level that blind spot monitoring with cross traffic alert is now standard. This particular model comes with an exterior color of radiant red and an interior of ivory. And of course, the interior is refined and very roomy for the model of car that this is. And for being an EV, it actually has surprisingly solid acceleration. You're not gonna have any trouble getting down the road and getting up to highway speed, even when the speeds are a little bit higher. Headlights and taillights are LED. The side view mirrors are heated power side view mirrors, but there is no turn signal indicator built in on the EX trim level. And you will find at all four corners, 215-55 R16 tires. That R16, I just gave away the rim size, which is a rather sporty looking rim here on the EX trim level. That means it is a 16 inch wheel. And let's talk a little bit about safety features because this model comes with Honda Sensing, which includes the following. Adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation braking system, lane keeping assist system, and road departure mitigation. And I must admit, while this model comes with all of those safety features, that is one thing we are not going to test in today's video. And I'm curious to know, tell me down in the comments section, what is your daily driver and do you plan to replace it within the next year? And because some of you asked to see the window sticker, well, I guess I can kind of show it to you. It's really gonna be hard to see on the screen right here, but here it is. Just kind of give you as best of a close up look as I can without too much of a glare. It's a good day to do that, that is for sure. And if you didn't see the price earlier, well, now you can see it. And there is all the information, even though I've given that information. Hello, there I am in the reflection of the window. But for those who request this, well, now you've seen the window sticker. And of course, likely the most important question to be answered here about the Insight. Let's talk a little bit about what's under the hood and what it's going to do for saving gas. The 1.5 liter four cylinder and that electric motor, 151 horsepower, it's mated to an ECVT, so the electronic continuously variable one speed transmission and gas mileage numbers, the most important thing here. So you're looking at 55 miles per gallon city, 49 out on the highway, a combined total according to Honda of 52. And obviously that's going to vary depending on so many different things, how you drive, where you drive, the temperature. I mean, there's so much, let's not get too technical with that. But I'm always curious to know, for those of you who own this generation of the Insight, tell me what kind of gas mileage you are experiencing. And before I use the remote to open the trunk, and we'll talk a little bit about cargo capacity, let's talk a little bit about the remote. One thing you might not expect on the EX trim level is one of my personal favorite features, that is remote start, as I give you a look on the screen as to what the remote itself looks like. And as far as cargo capacity goes, it's gonna range between 14.7 and 15.1 cubic feet. And if you wanna maximize your cargo space, a lot of the time we're used to going into the interior of the back seat and looking for a latch to lower those seats. That's not where it's found. They're actually both here on the top of the rear cargo area, the trunk area here. You're just gonna pull on that release and then you can go into the interior and lower down the seat back. And of course, you've got the cargo cover here, kind of a plastic cover to protect the carpet back here in the rear, depending on what you might haul around. If you have something that's maybe going to potentially get the carpet dirty, well, that insert will help take care of that. The Insight logo, of course, is on that to just kind of give it that little extra touch of added value. But the one thing that I would like to see change here is that there is not a spare tire, there is a tire repair kit. And while the intention of that 
is to save weight. If I had time and there was enough insights available at Holmes Honda, I might actually try and get a tire and stick it back here and see what the mileage difference would be in driving whatever mileage I may choose to go and see is there really a difference in having the tire repair kit or actually having a spare tire. If any of you actually know the answer to that question, tell me down in the comments what it is. I do find myself with a reasonable amount of leg room, and obviously that's going to vary a little bit depending on the front seat passengers and where they position their seats. But overall, it is roomy back here. Now my head is pretty close to the roof. I'm sitting straight up at five foot 10. So well, just think accordingly or plan accordingly, depending on your needs and or comfort desires. And as I hit the push button ignition and fire up the Honda Insight, it just, I don't know, does that sound right for 151 horsepower? I'm firing it up. That's almost like saying I'm firing up my 3000 horsepower race car. Yeah, there's a difference there. Anyway, let's talk a little bit about what you'll find here. Great technology, all of the features you would expect. You have the steering wheel mounted controls, of course, what would appear to be shifter paddles that's actually for controlling the regenerative braking. And so you're not gonna be changing gears, obviously, since you have that single speed CVT. But a lot of great information here on the dashboard. Really a nice modern look, but not too much. It doesn't look cluttered in my opinion. I think Honda's done a very good job in how they've laid that out. Here's an interesting thing that we learned with the Honda Ridgeline, Honda's truck that a lot of people like to say isn't really a truck, but it's right here. It's the knob for controlling the radio volume and turning the radio on and off. That was one thing that owners wanted to see return for 2021 with the Ridgeline. And of course, you're going to already have that here in the Insight. So for those of you who like to turn that knob and push it on and off, well, there you go. And you do have the rear view camera with multiple views. Everything is just so easy to use here. Now you do have single zone climate control, but an interior of this size, I don't think that's an issue. And while we didn't see connectivity in the back seat, we do see connectivity here via a couple of USB ports and a 12 volt power outlet. The push button shifter, again, mixed results or mixed opinions on what people think about that. Some people like it, some people don't. Tell me down in the comments what your view is. And you do have multiple driving modes. Of course, you can go into drive, but then you have Econ, you have Sport, and then you can push that button to be in EV mode, which will work as long as that electric motor has the charge capacity to do so. Now, one thing that I think is pretty interesting here, you don't have any armrests, but I think they would almost be in the way if you did of the console right here. But you can use this lid that you can slide back and forth as the armrest for the driver and passenger. And there actually is a lot of space in here. You have a total of three cup holders and you can move the two cup holders on the top out of the way for that larger cup holder underneath so that when you have your really large big gulp or whatever it is, well, you can take advantage of that. But here's something that's interesting. If those top cup holders are in the way, well, all you have to do is take them out and then you have even more space. One thing I wanted to do is show the turning radius on this inside. So I've turned the wheel all the way to the left and hopefully where we are on these parking spaces will give you a pretty good idea of how good the turning radius is. Hope I don't make anybody dizzy <laughs> in the video, but as you can see, it does have an excellent turning radius to fit in and around in tight spaces. And as we start our test drive, I'm in econ mode, but I'm curious to see what the differences in acceleration are between the modes and if I can even tell. So we're gonna slow back down here. I'm gonna go into sport mode. Let's see here. You know, I can actually tell a noticeable difference between sport mode and econ mode. So obviously, if you're looking for a little bit of extra acceleration, maybe you need to pass a slower moving car on a two lane road or something along those lines, well, there is how you do it, or at least the best way to do it. And as we get out onto the road here, obviously acceleration, well, not really a problem. I'm up to highway speed right now, the speed limit being, as you can probably see on the screen right there, 50 miles an hour. So it didn't really take any time at all to get there. And I don't even think I was at half throttle. So I didn't have the gas pedal pushed all the way down to the floor. What about ride quality? 
it's not bad. I'm very impressed at how well this Insight rides. And if you watch me regularly, you know that our roads here in Northwest Louisiana are, well, basically unmaintained. So I have my own personal test track for seeing what the ride quality of a vehicle is. And even though you do get some road noise, it's not bad. I don't have any, the air conditioner is not up very high. The music's not playing, nothing like that. Not someone to talk to or anything like that. So I'm gonna hear a little bit more than I might otherwise, but it's not obnoxious. It's not over the top loud. And overall, it's just a very enjoyable vehicle to drive. The handling is very good. So now it's time to ultimately answer the question that I asked in the title of this video. Is the Honda Insight a hybrid that is worth the money? Well, with a sticker price on this EX trim level of $25,620, personally, I have to say it is. Because of everything combined, it has great technology, it's going to save gas, but it still has enough power to easily get down the road and take care of pretty much anything that an owner may need. But here's the reality. What I have to say may vary from what you have to say. So tell me down in the comments what you believe the answer to the question is and why. Gotta say a special thanks to my friends at Holmes Honda for loaning me this model for the day and all of you for being kind enough to give me the opportunity to give you a vision for your next vehicle. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out another of the videos that is on the screen right over here and I will see you there.